Valentine's Day is almost upon us. And what could make a better treat for that special day than some Linzer hearts? Hi, I'm Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. So these are the ingredients for our Linzer hearts. We've got a half pan of butter at room temperature, a half cup of sugar, two cups of all-purpose flour, a half cup of ground hazelnuts, and about a cup of a good quality raspberry jam. Now I'm using ground hazelnuts. You can, if you prefer, use ground almonds, and I've even seen recipes calling for ground walnuts. But to me, the combination of hazelnuts and raspberry is just classic. So now we'll go off to the mixer. I've added the butter to the mixer, and now I'm going to add my half cup of sugar and just give that a good mix until it's well blended. Alright, once the um, butter and sugar are well blended, I'm going to add my two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to start the machine slowly so that I don't get a face full of flour. And as it mixes, I'll gradually increase it and just mix it until I see all of that flour is incorporated. Now the last thing I'm going to add is my half cup of ground hazelnuts. I'll just give that a good mix. Because I'm using this flex blade on my machine, you can see that the sides of the bowl are clean. There was no need for me to stop and, uh, and scrape it down constantly. And we'll just give it one final little mix. This is a nice firm batter and one of the things I love about it is you can roll it out right away. It doesn't have to rest in the fridge. So back to our counter. I'm all set to roll out my dough and I'm going to do one half at a time. I fitted my rolling pin with this rubber ring because I want my cookies to be about a quarter inch thick. These rings come in a handy package that um, have several sizes. And the nice thing about this is you get perfectly uniform uh, dough for whatever purpose you're rolling it out. I'm just flattening that into a disc between two sheets of wax paper. This is my favorite method for rolling out dough. A, it saves making a mess on your counter, and B, I can turn the dough easily any direction so that I can get it rolled out smoothly and evenly. You can tell when you've, you've got it just there because you don't see any more wrinkles in your dough um, as it goes along. See there's just a little wave there which tells me it needs just a little more to be totally even. Now, should you be doing these on a really warm day and your kitchen is very warm, you might want to chill it just a little before you um, cut them out. I don't think I'll need to do that today. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to take off the top sheet of wax paper. I'm not going to pull it straight up. I'm going to pull it back at an angle like so. That provides the least amount of resistance and doesn't, doesn't come up with lots of dough sticking to it. I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. There. And I'll reserve that wax paper for the rest of my dough. Now I'm going to cut out these hearts. 
see how many I can get out of this batch of dough. The first set of hearts that I'll cut will stay solid. The second batch, as you'll see, I'll cut a tiny heart out of the center. And there we are. I've got my cookie sheet ready, all lined with parchment paper. I've got my oven preheating to 325 degrees. Now I'm just going to take a, a flat offset spatula and transfer these cookies over to my baking sheet. Because I loosened them on the first side initially, they're going to come off quite easily. Just lay them on the cookie sheet. Just going to gather up these scraps and re-roll them and make a few more. These are the top layer for our uh, Linzer hearts and as you can see I've cut a tiny heart out of the center and this is exactly how I did it. Rolled them out and cut them just as before and trying to get this as centered as possible just cut out that little heart Again, trying to keep it as centered as we can, bearing in mind that nothing is ever perfect, and we just transfer them in the same way. Pick this up, and the little center obligingly drops right out, and we just place it right on the cookie sheet. All right, I'm putting the cookies in the oven, and they're going to bake for about 20 minutes or just until they take on the slightest bit of color. There, the cookies are baked and I'm just going to transfer to them to the stove top to cool for a few minutes and then I'll transfer them to a rack to cool completely. While the cookies are cooling, I'm going to heat my raspberry jam for about two minutes in the microwave and then I'm going to strain it to get all the seeds out and allow it to cool a little before assembling the Linzer hearts. All right, I'm taking the heated jam and just pouring it into a strainer. I want to get all those little seeds out. Now you can buy seedless raspberry jam, but I have found that it doesn't thicken up as well and you want a nice thick filling for your Linzer hearts. Just going to scrape this through and when I'm done I'll let it cool uh, while, the, the, while the cookies finish cooling. The more you heat the jam, the thinner it is and the easier it is to strain. but it will, as it cools, it will thicken really nicely. So to assemble our cookies, what I'm going to do is sprinkle the top with some powdered sugar. You want a nice dusting on there. And then I've got my cooled raspberry jam, which you can see is nice and thick put a fairly good amount on there. Now, I'm using raspberry jam. Another nice filling that you could use is the um, chocolate hazelnut spread called Nutella. That would go very well too. I'm not concerned about getting it out to the edges because I'm going to put the top on the cookie and that will spread it out. And there you've got a beautiful heart with that pretty raspberry jam showing through a lovely treat for Valentine's or any other day. Enjoy!